Hi everyone and welcome to this part. This is a demo of what you are going to build next step by step. This is an e-commerce application used to buy online tickets for movies from different cinemas. On the landing page you have the navigation bar, where you have the movies, a search bar and the options to either create an account or log in to your account. Then in here you have all the movies and for each movie you have the title, you have the description, the cinema, the category and when this movie starts and when it ends. Based on the start and the end date then we have the availability and the movie can either be available or upcoming. If you want to learn more about a movie you can just click the show details button and in here you'll see some more information about the movie like for example the actors where you have all the actors that play in this movie and for each actor you have a profile picture and their full name. Now if you want to learn more about the cinemas, the producers or the actors you can just click on the name so for example in the cinema one you have the logo, the name and a description. Let us go back, the same goes for the producer and if you go back one more time and then go to the actors, that is true for the actors as well. Now let us go back to the movies. Now here you can search for a movie, so let us say we want to search for the movie live, I'll just type in here live and then click the search icon or just press enter. So we see that we have the movie and the movies will be searched by the title and the movie description. So if I go back to the movies and then just copy this description, so control C, paste it in here and then click search, we see that we get that movie. Now so far we have seen what a public user can do so without being authenticated. But in this app you can either log in as an admin or you can log in as a simple user who just wants to buy movies. So let us create or let us just register for a new account. For that click the register button. Now in here I'll just provide my credentials. So I'll provide first the first name, then the last name, the username. You need to also provide the username because you can log into the system using either the username or your email address. Then the email is going to be just ervis at trupia.com. And then you need to provide in here a strong password. I'll just type coding at 2021. And then down here you need to confirm the password because if you just type another password and then click sign up, you get that the passwords do not match error message. So let us just remove and then type coding at 2021 and then click sign up. So the account was created successfully. It says in here that now you can log into your account. So I'll just click in here, login, then provide the username and that is ervis at trupia.com. So the email address and then the password is coding at 2021 and then click login. Once you log in, you will see that at the top right, you have the hello, then the username. And if you click the arrow, You'll see that you have the profile and the orders options. If you click on the profile and here you can update your profile. Now let us just go back to the movies and then click the add to cart option for the first movie. You'll see that once you add a movie to the cart, you will be redirected to the shopping cart. And now in here you have one movie, so one movie and the movie name is called Souls. You have the price. And this is the subtotal for the movie. Let us go to add more items. And now let us add the second movie. So now you have two movies and the total is now 79. If you want to add another copy of the same movie, you can just click the plus button in here. So now you see that the selected amount is two, the price is 39.5, but now the subtotal is 79 and the total is 118.5. So you can see that everything gets updated in real time. If I add one more, now I have three, the total is updated. Let me add one more cost movie. So two, three, four. And in here you can also see the basket icon, which has the number two next to it, which means that in your shopping cart, you currently have two items. 
Then next, if you want to buy, you can just click the PayPal checkout. And then here I'll just provide a sandbox PayPal test account and then click next. Then here the password and click login. So you can see in here now the total value, which is 276.50 US dollars. Then here you have the option to pay with your credit card or a Visa card. I'll just leave the first option and then click pay now. The payment is being processed and once the payment is successfully processed, you'll get this message saying that the order was completed and you can check all your orders in the orders section. So if you go in here and then go to orders, you see that you have an order ID. So this is the ID of the order. And then the items in your order were three copies of the cold salts and four copies of the ghost. And this was the total amount now let us log out and create another account so register i'm just going to type now in here test then test the username will be just test the email test at test.com coding at 2021 coding at 2021 and then click sign up so the account was created i'll just Login. So test at test.com. The password is coding at 2021 and then login. So I'll just buy a movie in here. I'll buy the movie live, then just check out. So you can see the price in here. I'll use the same payment method and then click pay now. And then here I'll just go to the orders history. Orders. And now I can see in here the order. Now, let me log out and log in as the admin. So in here, I'll just type admin at eTicket.com. And then I'll just provide the password for the admin account and then click login. Now, when you log in as an admin account, you can see some additional features in here. The first one is the management. And then here you can see all the cinemas that you have in your app, the producers, the actors you have the edit icon for a movie because now as an administrator you can modify the movie data and you have the add new button down here and also if you go to the hello admin you'll see in here that you can see all the users in your system so if you click the users these are all the users the last one is a default user that we have in the system and the first two are the users that i just created but you can also see all the orders in your system. So if you go back to the Hello Admin, then Orders, you'll see that you have two orders. The first order was done by the test test user, and he just got a copy of the live movie with a total of 39.50. But the other user, the Irvis Trupia, got three copies of this movie and four copies of the other one with a total of 276. $50. Now, let us just go to the management. And if you go to the cinemas, and here you can see a list of all the cinemas in your system. If you want, you can just create another one, or you can just update one. So edit, let's say cinema 5, update it, and then description, just update it, and then click save. You scroll down in here, you have the updated description and the updated name but you can also remove a cinema by just clicking delete then confirm if you scroll down the cinema 5 is gone so let me just remove the cinema 4 as well gone now i'll just copy the image address and then just add a new one and here once you provide the cinema logo you have the cinema in here and if you change the cinema 1 to 5 the image is updated now in the description section of this video i'll provide some links from where you can get some images let us provide a name i'll just type in here test cinema and then test description and then click create if you scroll down in here now you have the test cinema now let us just go and add an actor 
So I'll just click in here, then go to actors. The same way you can edit, you can delete an actor. So I'll just copy the first link. So copy image address and then add a new actor. Paste the profile picture URL, then provide a full name. Let's say test actor and a test PO and then click create. So if you scroll down in here, you have the test actor. Now let us go and add a producer. So in here, just click, then go to producers. I'll just copy an image address and then add new. Then paste it in here. Let us type in here test producer and then test bio and then click create. If you scroll down in here, you have the test producer. Now, one thing that you might have seen already is that you have this add new button. And that is the same button in all sections, but it is smart enough to know that based on the section that you are currently at, it should open, for example, in here, the create new producer. But if you are in the actors, it should open the create new actor, etc. Now let us go to the movies. And then here I'll just copy this image address and then add new. The name is going to be test movie. And then this is the test movie description. Let us say this movie starts, let's say started yesterday and then it will end next week. The price is going to be 12.34. The cinema name is going to be the test cinema that we just created. The actor is going to be the test actor and the actor 5. The movie will be, let us say, an action movie. The movie producer is the test producer. And in here, I'll just paste the image URL. And when you click away, you'll see the cover image. Then next, let us just click the create button. And now down here, you can see that we have the test movie. And because it started yesterday and it will end next week, it means that the status is available. And in here now, let us click the show details. And here now you can see that we have the actor five, we have the test actor, the test cinema, test producer, and the category is actions. And then down here in the add to cart, you have the price set to 12.34. Now let us go back to the list and here we have all the movies. And this is the app that you are going to create next step by step. You are going to start with an empty project using Visual Studio. And you are going to build this complete app step by step by creating all the features one after another.